the UK Home Secretary says that this is not what the UK voted for in Brexit, an open border sort of policy. But when Brexit happened, then the refrain from the UK was that now it doesn't need to prioritize EU nationals, so chances of Indian doctors and engineers making the cut would be easier. Was that not a true depiction of what was to come? Well, you, you're better informed on this topic than I am. But I, what I want to explain to you is that our government has been in power for one month. And frankly, they haven't got their act together in many ways. You might have noticed that we've had quite a, an economic crisis or a crisis of confidence in the government over the last month. Uh, measures to do with uh, tax, taxation and such forth have been absolutely the priority. So I don't think I'm uh, revealing any uh, uh, hidden secrets when I tell you that uh, the Prime Minister really hasn't got her head around uh, many issues, and perhaps this is one of them. Uh, after all, she inherited a pledge by Boris Johnson to get a free trade agreement with India sorted by Diwali. Um, whether she knows that, whether she's conscious of that, is a little bit difficult to tell because her mind has been so much on, uh, firstly, the party con uh, conference, mm. where she got a lot of criticism from her MPs. And then yesterday she was in Europe trying to uh, r build uh, fences, I would say, or build uh, relations, rebuild relations mm. with some of our European colleagues that were badly damaged when we left Europe. Mm. So what I'm really telling you is that uh, she has a lot on her plate mm. and she... Uh, possibly hasn't even had the time to sit down with the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, to discuss hmm. the, uh, the, the impact of a free trade agreement and the, the detail here and there, whereas perhaps Ms. Braverman has given more attention to it because hmm. it's, it's one of the central issues with her. Hmm.